Okay. Cool. All right, guys. What the idea is what we do: our crossfire grid and grid stack. Basically, a stainless steel construction that gives you six different height settings that you can use to put your grid on different levels. Okay, it looks like three out of six. Let me show you how. We get the 12, the 17, and 24 centimeter setting. And if you flip it over, because the legs are offset on either side, now you have an 8 and a 14 and a 20 The arms on which your grid rests, they are extended telescopic. Right, that means that it's adaptable to a wide range of grids. Anything from a 2 or a 4 slice poster grid, all the way up to your built-in dry grid. So you can use a grid that's up to a meter long and half a meter wide or even longer. But the grid is longer than a meter, you can put it in from the side, instead of from the front. So you can really go like the really big grid. So you know that it works on all of your grids, and it means that it works on all of your brides. Whether you use a Goldman bride, or a brick and mortar bride, or a Weber, or a washing machine drum that's been turned into a bride, or an oil drum, or a geezer, or a tractor, or a truck's rim, or a plowshare, or even I use this on a wheelbarrow. Now, we use the Weber here as an example because so many people have them and we get a common complaint that people say the one problem with that with the Weber, it's too hot and the grid has only got one fixed height. It's usually a couple of brackets or a lip or a rim that you grid wise. Okay, so the solution there is to use the crossfire stack. And we always say it's like the old Cremora ad, it's not inside, it's on top. Right. So you hook it on top of your dry structure, whatever it is. You adjust it to fit your drive, and now you can put your grid or grids on different levels. So you're not bound to your round grid on your round weaver anymore. You can use a standard folding grid on there. As a bonus, you all of a sudden there's a space between your grid and your bride itself. So if you need to add wood for flame, or some uh, sawdust for smoke, or you just wanted to create different heat zones on your bride, you can actually now get your fire and manage your fire. We also use it as a rib stand. So with a rib stand, I mean any tool that you would use to keep your grid up at an angle or upright next to your fire for indirect or radiating heat instead of your direct or searing heat. So on the Weber it's as simple as that. Once you put that inside the drum, these lips of the Weber will actually keep that stand upright and stable and you can literally just put your grid up at an angle next to it. Another way to use it use it on a built-in braai or a brick and mortar braai, you just extend your legs fully, open it up slightly so you have a small A-frame and you can insert a grid or again two grids in there. So you have a double rib stand. If you have a nice big braai, you can make fire on either side and run two grids at the same time. Okay. The crossfire stand folds up nice and small so you can literally store it inside the framework of your grid so it's easy to transport, ideal for camping or picnicking like that. It fits in an ammo case, for a lot of people that's an important <laughs> factor, and for most women the fact that it fits in a dishwasher, it's an added bonus because it's easy. It's made from a 304 marine grade stainless steel, so it's completely rust free and it should last you a lifetime. We sell them here at the show for five. Contact number? 082-45-3144 or go to braiguys.com. Thanks.